Who calls their cell phone a telephone? They're called cell phones. I don't know anyone that's ever held up a cell phone and said, I'm going to use my telephone. So we do have a wireless telecommunications ordinance, but it's completely not the chapter that we're doing anything about. So clearly that's where wireless facilities go, which are the very powerful 5G um, light pole transmitters. They're not part of a telephone company's basic service on a light pole. They're part of wireless telecommunications facilities, which are permitted by a whole other chapter that they don't want to seem to get into. And they were supposed to get into this um, tonight. You all made it so abundantly clear, and they brought you back nothing. And I just have no faith that they're ever going to bring you back something because they should have done it tonight. These are very simple changes. They really could be handwritten in. And what might have to happen, honestly, is if they don't bring you back anything, you're going to have to adopt another urgency ordinance to now start trying to get it in the right chapter so we're not permitting a telephone company's relics from 50 years ago and we start permitting wireless facilities, which all other wireless facilities have their own chapter. And that requires a public hearing. It requires a conditional use permit. Currently, there's no wireless facility allowed in any residential district. None. So if we put this in the right ordinance, we'd be done because the zoning code, all, all the zoning department has to do is they have to amend the definitions to include the definitions in the 17th chapter, small cell wireless facilities, because they already have the big wireless facilities. And if they can just include that definition then of a small wireless facility, then all the existing ordinances would say you cannot put them in residential, you can put them in mixed use, and we're not all residential in Upland. There's multiple different zoning classifications. We have mixed use, we have commercial, we have industrial, we have special use. And uh, they can all have a cell phone antenna or equipment or tower, but they can't be in a residential. And that's clearly spelled out in the municipal code. So um, we just got to try to keep their feet to the fire, and hopefully they'll cough up something here in a month. The urgency ordinance only was effective for 45 days, so they just blew through two weeks and ignored you. Here we go now, heading to the end of the urgency ordinance period, and we've just canceled the urgency ordinance and adopted something that relates to uh, hardwired telephone equipment from 50 years ago. So there needs to be some urgency to put this in the right category of the zoning code so that there are zoning regulations instead of recommendations with no teeth. I mean, clearly, that, that, whatever they wrote, it means absolutely nothing. It's not restrictive. And I love how misleading this was, that in two weeks we are vulnerable because somebody's going to file some kind of injunction and get us in front of a judge in two weeks. If Verizon came in here and applied for a permit tomorrow, no one's going to give them a permit for 60 to 90 days. So no one would be taking anyone to court in two weeks and holding our feet to the fire. No judge would hear it in two weeks, so there was absolutely zero risk. And a lot of what's going on here, I think, is so egregious with our city attorneys misleading our city council that I am very seriously considering filing a complaint with the bar because I am shocked at your behavior. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Council, please make sure you keep their feet to the fire. Thank you.